could be boosted by sharply increasing fares for long-distance commuters. BR's decision, which will formally be announced tomorrow, follows a row behind the scenes between BR's boss, Sir Robert Reid, and the Transport Secretary, yeah, Cecil says. Parkinson. Yeah. Last week, Mr Parkinson told British Rail that he didn't think fares should rise by more than the rate of inflation, about 7.5%. But that opinion's been ignored, although the average increases are now slightly lower than originally planned. BR say that at present, those commuting long distances into London pay bargain rates compared with those living in the home counties. BR's eventual aim is to bring the two levels much closer together. The Shadow Transport Secretary says such increases are the inevitable result of government policy. It's primarily because the government have been taking thousands of millions of pounds out of supporting the railway system. In Europe, they give two and three times as much, and that's why ours is a worse system, and we're paying more for it. We need to reverse the policy. With the government committed in principle to selling off a profitable British rail, long-distance travellers face similar massive increases for the next two or three years. And BR is secure in the knowledge that, as with mortgage payments, customers have no choice but to find the money somehow. <laughs>